Before we go any further, it's about to get pretty weird. Some of the animals in this video may only seem like fictional characters in films, but Mother Nature's here to prove us wrong. From star-nosed moles to alien-looking turtles, here are the top 10 weirdest animals you don't know exist. Number 10, Star-Nosed Mole. Someone please wake me up from this terrible nightmare. The star-nosed mole is so ugly, you'd think it's a summoned demon from downstairs. They're characterized by their hairless noses that are ringed with a unique star of 22 pink fleshy tentacles. Another interesting thing is it's also the most aquatic Tennessee mole and only occurs in the eastern part of the state. As much as this creature looks like it's out for blood, the star-nosed moles don't feed on humans. Like most moles, they actually prefer a rich diet of earthworms, and being an aquatic star, some aquatic insects as well. They also eat snails, crawfish, small amphibians, and fish. Lucky for you though, they won't be crawling anywhere near your bed. They mostly reside in the woods, bogs, marshes, and fields adjacent to water, and in higher elevations. If you're asking, why do they need a nose like that in the first place? Well, each one of the 22 tentacle-like projections contain numerous highly sensitive organs called Imer's organs. They're rich with nerves and blood vessels which help to identify potential food. It works pretty much like a regular nose used to smell, just looks a lot creepier. Number 9. Hummingbird Hawk Moth If you thought the star-nosed mole was weird, wait till you see this fella. A moth that's a hummingbird is something I couldn't in my wildest dreams imagine existed, yet here we are. This species of hawk moth is found across temperate regions of Eurasia. Just like the sounds a hummingbird makes, the wings of the humming hawk moth beat so rapidly they produce an audible hum and they can only be seen as a haze. Better yet, it surprisingly looks a lot like a hummingbird. Unlike most moths that like to feed and roam at night, these are mostly known as day-flying moths. They love flowers that provide a plentiful supply of nectar, such as red valerian and honeysuckle. They're also surprisingly good at learning colors. It'll hover in front of a flower, probe it repeatedly for nectar, and then dart to the next flower. It has a remarkably good memory that helps them return to the same flower beds every day at about the same time. Number 8. Goblin Shark what happens when you're the last of a lineage that's over 125 million years old? Well, you turn out to have something in common with the goblin shark. This rare shark species is sometimes even called a living fossil. It is the only living representative of a family of sharks that existed millions of years ago. The shark was named in honor of the late businessman, Alan Austin. As you noticed, the goblin shark has a shovel-like snout, flabby body, and a tail with a weakly developed lower lobe. Its protrusible mouth is one of the most distinct features. It can retract to a position under the eye or extend forward under the snout, meaning goblin sharks can thrust their jaws three inches out of their mouths just to catch prey. They're also humongous in size. These animals can grow 12 feet long and weigh up to 460 pounds. Scientists don't know too much about these sharks as they're rarely seen. They exist deep below the sea, over 1,200 meters deep, meaning it's highly unlikely to bump into one while you're out in the ocean, and in case you do, they're believed to be rather sluggish creatures, so they probably won't catch up to you. Just swim and be fast while you're at it. Number 7. Red-Lipped Batfish What exactly would a spawn of a bat and fish look like in real life? And why is it so stylish? Dear viewers, you're looking at the most glam set of lips donned on a fish. In the cool waters of the Galapagos Island lies this unusual fish. With frog-like legs, lipstick red pout, and dangling lure, the red-lipped batfish is unlike any other fish in the sea. Those lucky enough to have seen it in person can confirm the red-lipped batfish is one of a kind. As the name suggests, these creatures have bright, almost fluorescent red lips, looking as though they recently ate a bloody meal or are wearing some very bright lipstick. Aside from their peculiar red lips, it's one of about 60 species of batfish that have modified pectoral and pelvic fins that resemble legs. Although they're capable of swimming, you'd likely find them walking on the seafloor by alternating their limb-like fins. 
It's hard to describe, but it kind of looks like a walking frog. And yes, they do pose some similar features of a bat, hence the name Batfish. Number 6. Mata Mata There is no way in the world that the Mata Mata isn't a turtle invented by aliens. The turtle has a triangular and flattened head, and their bodies and long necks are rough and bumpy. One of the Mata Mata turtle's most prominent features is its shell. The shell isn't only large, but it's also rough and knobby, with what look like spherical cones projecting from it. Far from outer space, the Mata Mata is a freshwater turtle found in South America, primarily in the Amazon and Orinoco basins. They require quite a bit more than most common turtles to survive, meaning they're kept only by experienced keepers. If you're scared of coming into contact with one, don't worry, these turtles are fully aquatic. They won't dare set foot on land. As long as they have their fish diet, you don't have to worry too much about them. To think some people even keep them as pets baffles me. Number 5. Leafy Sea Dragon The Leafy Sea Dragon is one of the most striking marine creatures on the planet. It's a close relative of the seahorse. They're considered to be one of the most ornately camouflaged creatures. It has advantageous physical features that help protect itself from predators. The lobes of their skin provide them camouflage, giving them the appearance of seaweed. These leafy sea dragons can blend in completely with the reef rocks and seagrass meadows. They reach a total length of 35 centimeters. You can find this eye-catching creature along the southern and western coast of Australia. Number 4. Indian Purple Frog If you're planning on touring India, try going on a hunt for this hippo-looking frog. These uniquely purple frogs live in the western ghats of southern India. While their distribution is very limited, this isn't the only reason why it took scientists so long to discover them. These frogs spend the majority of their lives underground, only to surface two weeks every year for mating purposes. They're identified by a bloated body and an unusually pointy snout. Unfortunately, local people consume their tadpoles which are also used alongside the adult frogs for medicinal purposes. In some communities, an amulet is made from the frog and worn by children as it's believed this will reduce their fear of storms. The purple frog is listed as endangered as it's also consumed and harvested by local communities. Number 3. Sea Pen A sea pen is a graceful creature of the sea floor. It's named after the old-fashioned quill pen. Sea pens are pinkish with white polyps and distinctively tree-like or bushy. Slender sea pens are more slender with a whitish cream color, and tall sea pens are unsurprisingly way taller than the others, growing up to a height of 2 meters. The interesting fact about these sea creatures is that each sea pen is a colony of polyps that work together to survive overall. When stimulated, the sea pens glow with a bright greenish light. Number 2. Okapi With its white and black striped hindquarters and front legs, you might think this is a hybrid of a donkey and a zebra, but the okapi is closely related to the giraffe. This can be proven true once you take a closer look at the head. The okapi is indeed the only living relative of the giraffe and, like a giraffe, an okapi has very large, upright ears which can catch very slight sounds. An okapi also has a long, dark, prehensile tongue like a giraffe's. It uses it to strip the buds and young leaves from the understory brush of its rainforest home. That's why they're native to the Democratic Republic of Congo in Central Africa. They're actually hard to find in their natural habitat. While indigenous people would catch them every so often, scientists didn't know of okapis till 1900. If it were up to you, how would you think this creature became such a close relative to the giraffe? Just feels like something's not adding up here. Number 1. Sea Pig Sea pigs earn their moniker from their puffy legs and plump, oval-shaped pinkish bodies. Unlike land pigs, these creatures are tiny, measuring only 4 to 6 inches and can fit in the palm of your hand. Unlike most sea cucumbers, which have stumpy tube feet tucked beneath their bodies, Sea pigs use their long, stilt-like tube feet to suspend their bodies above the soft mud. They're found in all of the world's oceans, 
In some areas, they comprise more than 95% of the total weight of animals on the deep sea floor. Despite their abundance, most people will never see a real sea pig as they live in the coldest and deepest parts of the ocean. Just like their namesakes, these weird animals don't mind waste and are considered deposit feeders. They extract organic particles from deep sea mud. Needless to say, the ocean remains home to the weirdest animals that still exist. See you next time.